Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to part two of my little look at the UD AGI atomizer. Now in part one we had a look at the AGI uh, being used as a Genesis tank atomizer, so looking a bit like that. But of course it can also be used as a dripper. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the, the second part of this little review is, um, is set it up as a dripper and see how it performs. Before we do that though, uh, I have seen comments on forums, um, including from uh, Darren at Safer Six, who sent me this to, uh, to put through its paces. Um, that it can be a little bit leaky in dripper mode. So before we set it up and start using it, we're gonna do a little experiment just to see what we're up against. First thing I need to do then to get this into dripper mode is just remove the top cap and then you unscrew the top and discard the rest. Because we're going to be using it in dripper mode, we need to make sure that all the wick holes and stuff are plugged by replacing the little grub screws. So I'm just using the Allen key to put these grub screws in. I'm going to screw them down so they're just flush with the level of the base. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make sure that the uh, little terminal screw here that served as the negative terminal for the Genesis setup you screwed down all the way as well. Let's face it, the leak is gonna happen where those grub screws are, I reckon. But let's find out. So I have this piece of tissue paper, and onto that I have put the dripping atomizer head. And in the syringe, I've got some plain PG. Uh, it's not got any nicotine in it or anything like that. It's just PG. And I'm gonna fill up the base like that and now I'm going to let it stand and I'm going to come back in half an hour or so and see if anything has leaked through okay the moment of truth um, there's nothing on this paper towel that's bone dry I'll just get rid of the PG that's built up in there but uh, it would appear that this particular AGI doesn't suffer from the same problems as some of the others. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the bottom, there's nothing seep through there at all. This is good. So let's get it wicked. Right, slight change of plan. Uh, it's actually Saturday afternoon now. <laughs> uh, something came up, so I, this thing's been sat there all day yesterday and today without me using it. Um, but I'm now going to try and get uh, the dripping set up. Set up. So first thing I'm going to do is cut myself off a length of this three mil wick that I've got. That might be a bit too long, but we'll see. And I've got a length of canthal here, 0.2 canthal that I tend to use on all my rebuildables. Now, it should be pointed out that despite what Dave Dawn said on the Haze Hour last Thursday about me knowing what I'm doing with coiling slicker wicks, it's just not true. I've done a few, but I've never done a dripping atomizer before. So, uh, Pretty much anything could happen here. But there's a coil. Not sure if it's any good. But that's got five complete turns on it. And looking at this, you've got like a little hole in the negative post here. To thread the wire through and the top one is the one that I used when we did the Genesis setup which is just basically a clamp terminal so, um, so let's slacken those off a bit I'm 
and see if we can thread this looks like I've got the two sort of tails about the right distance apart that's always a good start cool that's fiddly okay but we're in we're in Tighten that one up. Oh, I snapped the wire. It's possible to over tighten this and snap the wire. Not good. Start again. So here we go with attempt number two. Right, well I've made something like a coil anyway. It's not that neat actually. I'm just gonna use a pin just to try and make that a little bit more evenly spaced that doesn't look too bad I have no clue what the resistance on this thing is going to be when I try it but first thing we'll do is just try and pulse it a little bit and see if it works at all as you can see something's happening there seems to be working and I'm gonna because I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> I'm just gonna try and make this coil fit around in the bottom of the thing as much as I can because that seems logical just to quickly test the resistance on it so I'm gonna stick it onto the EVIC as that's the easiest way that I've got to hand and that's saying 2.5 ohms yeah, okay so that's probably a little bit high but that's okay if I use it on this it'll sort that out for me and we're only just sort of giving it a rough test anyway aren't we so uh, let's get some juice on there I think this is Vermilion River Kentucky Vanilla Island so let's chuck a bit of that on there and see how how it's going to work Tuck that bit of wick back in and then I'm just going to stick the top cap with the drip tip just the way it was in the Genesis setup on the top so as I say um, it's currently half past five on Saturday afternoon uh, tomorrow morning I shall uh, film an update and see how well it's performing I mean that was easy to wick I've never done it before and I've come up with something that works probably could have been a bit neater in truth but as you can see it's vaping rather nicely it's a two and a half ohm coil probably should be a bit lower I guess and I'm vaping it at eight watts so yeah, the EVIX having to give me four and a half volts near as damn it it's producing very very well I'm getting more vapor from this from what I thought was a really nice Genesis setup on it the other day so um, it's not going to be a chore to endure this for the next 24 hours I don't think so I'll use it I'll come back I'll let you know how I get on with it including whether it leaks Right, well it is now Sunday morning, just about. And I was up very late last night, so 4 a.m. So this has had a good 12 hours of use. And um, I have to say, I've been really pleased with it. Um, I haven't actually detached this atomizer from this device. 
since you saw me put it on uh, yesterday uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it now and see if it's leaked at all and the answer is not one bit there's not a stray drop of juice there at all um, the way I've been using it I'm not used to using drippers I think what you're supposed to do is remove the drip tip and drip through the middle that's the way you used to drip with atomizers anyway in the good old days but uh, actually all I've been doing is removing the top cap to expose the coil because you might as well remove the whole top cap as the drip tip and then just coat the wick with a little bit more for good measure so that's the way I've been topping it up So just been making sure the the wick is uh, nicely covered in juice. Then you simply, I've been popping the top cap back on with the air hole lining up with the wick. So so that's as close to the wick as I can get it. And then it just works. As you can see it produces really well as I was saying yesterday um, it's a very pleasant vape um, so to wrap up then um, there were the people who were doing this sort of pre-release test for safer sigs um, a few people said they'd had problems with leaks I've not had any um, but this is a pre-release version there will be tweaks to sort that out before they go on sale I'm told um, but mine hasn't leaked anyway as you've seen um, it works really well in dripper mode it works really well in genesis mode I've no idea what the price of these is going to be but let's be honest it's UD so it's not going to be astronomical by any stretch of the imagination uh, I think what you've got here is a damn good atomizer it's stainless steel the uh, glass tank for the genesis setup is, is Pyrex um, it's a good quality atomizer. The threads on the fittings inside are, they seem pretty good to me. Uh, got no problems. The top cap, even though it's held by O-rings, can quite easily support the weight of an EVIC. Um, it's good and tight. Um, it's a resounding a thumbs up from me on this. Um, I can see this being a very popular atomizer. Um, so I hope that's giving you a good overview of the AGI. Uh, we'll say thanks to Darren at Safer Six for including me in his sort of pre-release test. And um, I'll be back. Until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>